What's good, my brother? It's Christian, and we got some amazing news about God of War Ragnarok. First up, the game size will be 90.6 gigabytes on PS4. Expect approximately the same size for us PS5 owners. 2018 was around 45 gigabytes. And for another comparison, Horizon Forbidden West is also 90. I actually platinumed the game myself and it took me around 94 hours and there was still about 6% more of the game that I had to complete. And in case you didn't know, Ragnarok is confirmed to have a 40 hour main story with 10 hours of additional story. So for Platinum Hunters, we're looking at around 60 upwards to 90 hours to completely 100% the game. Our second topic is about Ryan Hurst revealing more about Thor's complex character and further letting us know just how little we know about Ragnarok. You are going to be playing Thor in the yet-to-be-released God of War Ragnarok. Um, what would you say distinguishes your particular take on the character versus perhaps others that are out there in the mainstream? He is fat. <laughs> very, very, very fat. No, um, so the creators of Ragnarok came to me and it was, uh, first of all, I, I've been, I was a fan of that video game from like everyone from the, from the beginning. Um, and then when I got the call, they were like, they want to pitch you um, a character that they're, that they're putting together for Ragnarok. And I was like, okay. And it was right when COVID started. So they, uh, the, the creators actually came over to my house and we sat there for about six hours and they pitched the entire storyline, the entire thing. Rare thing for games. And it was this tapestry of really beautiful, intense uh, storytelling. And I was like, oh my God. And then they started showing me the artwork and I was like, oh, this is great. And they were like, and then this is you. And I was like, he's a, he's a big boy. And they were like, yeah, we're going old school Norse mythology with this. And I was just like, I love this. Um, so the way that I presented him was he has a bit of pathos to him that you wouldn't necessarily expect. That there's some relationships that they that they investigate where they with his with his father, with his wife, and with his daughter. They show this other side of him that I was really, really interested in, which is that like, for one, he's a drunk. Hmm. And he's trying not to be a drunk for his family. Like these very sort of like off-center choices for like a Norse god. Yeah. That you don't look at a Norse god and go like, oh, really? <laughs> he feels that way? <laughs> you know, so that I, I, I tried to present it that way, if that makes sense. So you're sort of saying that the take is more of a humanistic take on a, on a god or a god attempting to be as mortal as possible. Yeah. yeah. Right on. Yeah. My quick thoughts on this are that this one 100% confirms that we will see Thor's wife and daughter and they'll have a part to play in the story rather than only serving the purpose to be known as his family. Thor is a drunk who is attempting to stop because of his family, because of what he has left. He lost his brother Baldr and his two sons Magni and Modi, a god of thunder who is more touched into his side of humanity than his side of godhead. And to no surprise, the storytelling of this game is going to be insane. As to the two creators who venture to his home, you know it's got to be Corey Balog and Eric Williams. Again, I just can't believe we truly don't know anything about this game and won't know anything about certain things until we actually play it. Other than that, I appreciate you for watching. Make sure to watch my two breakdowns for the story trailer if you have it. One covering the story and the second the combat. Also, most importantly, check out my Kratos vs Thor animations. As always, Enjoy the rest of your day, my brother, because remember this, we will make our own destiny. destiny.